Let's start setting up your online store so you can quickly start selling your products on your website. We'll begin by adding products. On the left, click on the store icon and click manage products. To add a product, I'll click add new product on the top right and we'll start filling in this information. So let's pretend I'm taking my clothing boutique online. I'll just start by adding my product name. You'll see a collections option on the right side here. And a collection is just a way to categorize your products. So if you want to put a specific product gallery on one of your web pages, you can do that. And I'll show you how to create a collection later on. You can also choose to track your product inventory. And of course, it's important to add images of your product. So I've already uploaded some images through my file manager, but you can also upload them right here. I'll just click on the images I want to add and then click use images. So at this point, if your product only has one option, you can go ahead and click save and done right here. Or you can add some options such as colors, sizes, etc. I'll just add colors as an option just to show you what that looks like. Just type your option choices here. Just type comma to add another choice. You'll notice you can also customize settings per option. Since the material for my charcoal tea is a little bit more expensive, I'll just add a surcharge of $2 in addition to my price. And when that's done, I'll just hit save and done. You'll notice that there are some dummy products that are already loaded into your store and you can easily bulk delete them by clicking on the checkbox here. And you'll notice all of the items are selected. And for the product I just added right now, I'm gonna click on it to deselect it. And if I scroll back to the top, I can choose to delete it right here. But for now, I won't delete them just yet so we can see what a full store will look like. So after you've added all of your products, you might want to create a new collection. On the left, I'll just click Collections. So as I mentioned before, this is a way to group your products if you want to display a specific collection on a product gallery on your site. I'll just click Add New Collection. For example, this could be my sale collection. I'll click add slash remove products to choose which products to include in this collection. And just hit save. And I'll hit save again. And click done. So now for any product galleries that I have on my webpage, I can choose which collection to connect it to. Lastly, let's go through the store setup. Just click on the store setup on the left side. Here you can set up your store information and your currency. Here you can set up your payment methods. You can use a third-party payment service like PayPal to allow customers to pay online through your site, or you can set up a custom payment method with options to allow customers to pay offline. So I'll just show you how to do that. We'll make sure the custom method is enabled. And I'll choose to add the pay in store option, which is a great option to incorporate with curbside pickup, which I'll show you how to set up next. Once that's done, click save. And under shipping and tax, this is where I'm gonna set up my in-store or curbside pickup option and set up some new tax rules. So we'll click add new rule. And I'll find my location by clicking on this and finding my country, which is Canada. 
And then to make it even more specific, I'll click on that country and choose my province, which is BC. So this shipping rule will apply just to BC Canada. I'm gonna turn off the shipping option for BC Canada by clicking on the toggle here. And I'm gonna turn on the in-store pickup option right here. I'm just gonna scroll down and add my tax rules. I'm gonna choose different tax rates within the region. And for the federal tax first, I'll set that. Click apply. And now I'm gonna add a separate tax just for BC. Just click. I'll change the tax name to PST. And I'll choose how we want to calculate that relative to the federal tax. Now I'll just click save. And I'll also disable the tax rule for the rest of the world that was here by default with the template. Just click on that and we will disable it. If this is disabled, that means that your products will not be available to be ordered outside of the regions that we've set. And we'll hit save. On the left, you can also customize your checkout options. So now my store is all set up and I'm ready to customize. If you have any questions about these steps, feel free to reach out to our team and thanks for watching.